Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching, welcome to your weekly love tarot messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see what is your person telling their family and friends about you. It's going to be a general reading so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Wow, you've got cards flying out here. The star, but it's in reverse. Okay, so the Two of Swords could be signaling that maybe the both of you are in a no contact, no communication period. Okay, so this person isn't doing a lot of talking. Um, they may have blocked you. Um, there may have been some sort of disagreement that you've had, some sort of altercation, some conflict that you're experiencing that has resulted in this Two of Swords situation. Them not communicating with you, them you know giving you the silent treatment, or them blocking you, or perhaps it's vice versa. The good news is you do have the Ace of Swords, so even if there is blockages right now, or if there's no contact and no communication, the Ace of Swords does predict that there is going to be contact or communication in the near future, and because <coughs> excuse me, the Ace the Swords are very fast moving energy, it's probably going to happen sooner rather than later, or a lot quicker than you'd like. Um, and then you know they will communicate with the sense of with the truth they will communicate and speak a truth of some sort they will explain their sudden withdrawal or their emotional outbursts here they're coming in to you know to talk to you right now even though they're not talking with you they're definitely talking about you okay um or even if you guys are communicating, the Two of Swords could signal that, you know, this is someone who is either they're coming up as an avoidant personality type, or this is someone who is avoiding talking about their, you know, feelings. They don't really, they don't really do well in that department. They don't like talking or discussing how they feel. Maybe, you know, this isn't something that they're used to. Um, might have a lot to do with their emotional um, environment and their upbringing. Um, just could be how they are naturally closed off and reserved um, what are they saying to their family and friends about you look this is someone who does okay this person does like you they are definitely romantically interested in you you know they potentially even could be in love with you they do have strong feelings for you but <clears throat> from what the cards are revealing here that this person is scared okay because of the two of swords and the star card in reverse it feels like this person has been hurt in the past they've um they might have experienced a lot of hurt a lot of pain or like abandonment or rejection in their earlier life their childhood their upbringing their young adulthood maybe even their previous relationships and this has caused this has caused them to um, experience a lot of pain a lot of pain which by the looks of things that they haven't healed and meeting you or you know maybe just recently there's been some sort of emotional triggers for this person so they may have been triggered by something you said or you've done or something you know maybe it had nothing even to do with you but there's been some sort of triggers because they still have wounds that fester they still need you know they still carry um, a hurt or a pain that they haven't healed and because they are coming up as an avoidant this is someone who avoids talking about things who avoids you know confronting their emotions and processing their emotions so this isn't good if particularly you know they haven't healed the situation because avoiding something 
avoiding you know the situation the pain or the hurt is not healing it confronting it is a huge part a huge process of healing it so if you think you know it's not you okay if your person is acting strange lately or even if they're acting a little bit like weird or they're sort of overreacting it's important for you not to personalize the pain because from what the cards are depicting here it does feel like they have some emotional baggage that they still carry with them this is someone who's very attracted to you okay this is someone who speaks about you in um they speak about you very highly in a very positive light you know they feel like you are the star you're the shining star in their life they feel like you have a lot of healing properties to your energy you have a very healing soothe calm energy here this is someone who feels very comfortable with you and especially if they're an introvert that's saying something that's speaking volumes guys um but it feels like they're scared and it feels like they're engaging in sabotaging behavior when it comes to this connection <laughs> it also feels like unfortunately they because they haven't healed past wounds this relationship is suffering as a result of it and I don't know if this person sees that and when they talk about you to their family and friends it feels like you know their family and friends know know them right they know what they've been through and they can tell that you know the past is sort of past wounds or memories are still hurting them and it's sort of resurfacing and they can tell that that's what's haunting them and your connection with this person They feel like, I feel like this person is spiritual. Or I don't know if you're the, you're the very, I'm getting a very spiritual energy. Someone who's very in touch with their inner self here. Could be you and maybe you've had a, that positive influence on their life. But they do feel like you're a soulmate. You're their soulmate or the two of you are destined. You know, they believe that you were destined to me. Like that. How, even the way you guys met it was it wasn't um, random it was it wasn't coincidental it was purposeful um, and they feel like they've known you they feel like they feel very comfortable they feel like they've known you the their whole lifetime I feel like their family and friends are definitely encouraging for this person to talk to you okay they're encouraging this person to be vulnerable with you to let them see to let you see that side of them because they know that you know if they allow for their fears to dictate their actions that they potentially could lose this you know they potentially could lose this good thing that they have going with you so their friends family members are definitely trying to be encouraging and uplifting talk they try to keep saying talk talk to them Talk to them, talk it out, let them know what's on your mind. Um, be honest, tell the truth. Because there's some things that this person is not not telling you. That's not to say they're keeping secrets from you. They're just not comfortable sharing with you. Maybe it still hurts them a lot. Maybe, you know, they feel uncomfortable talking about it. So it's more them than it is you. But this person, these you know, these connecting energies around you keep telling your person to talk. To talk to you, to talk it out, to stop the silent treatment. Or, you know, to stop pushing you away. Because that's what they've been doing lately, haven't they? So, um, I do see that there's going to be contact. I do see there's going to be incoming communication from this individual. And you'll be very surprised at how open they might be. At how honest they may seem as well with you and with what it is that they say. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Appreciate your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.